Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a makeup haul. I know what you're thinking. Aren't you supposed to be on Nobody till June 21st? And you would be right, but I didn't. I cr I crumbled. I crumbled. I did. I broke down at the beginning of June. So it's June 12th today and you'll be seeing this video I believe on Tuesday. So it's a work in progress and my two tips if you're going through a no buy would be number one is don't go into stores that tempt you or go into a section of a store that tempts you i know that's my big trigger is like i'll be going to walmart for bread and i won't even go into the bread section first i'll go into the makeup section it, it could be any store it doesn't matter i will find the makeup section if they have one and the so don't tempt yourself by going to those places or a section in the store that will tempt you and number two is don't watch makeup hauls because or videos of that type because I will find myself writing down on my phone after I watch the video or screenshotting uh, the product and I'll get, I'll put it on my phone to get uh, so those are my two top tips for trying not to if I listen to those things I would probably be doing much better but I just can't help myself and I want to be honest with you guys I so that's what I'm gonna start with in this video is the products that I got and then I'm gonna be showing you for the rest of the video things that my mom and my sister gave me from their makeup stash my mom had a, a box full of beauty and makeup and skincare products and I, being the makeup junkie that I am, I was like, of course, give it to me. My sister gave me a whole bunch of lipsticks, so that has helped the past couple of weeks in my no-buy, and hopefully I can make it till the 21st. Okay, so for, in regards to things that I bought during my no-buy, this is the OPI top coat, which I probably didn't need. I have a few top coats open, and I'm just not in love with any of them, or I just use it to use it, and fun fact, I probably have never used a top coat until recently like the past couple of years before that I never used to wear a top coat and I still don't wear a base coat either uh, but it's a new venture for me and I still feel like it's an extra stuff that I don't need especially since I change my nail polish a lot but I want to try the OPI one since I love their nail polishes next is the L'Oreal visible lift color lift blush and nude lift and I just to be honest with you I just wanted to complete my collection I have I believe all of them now and I absolutely love them this is a really light subtle product I have it on my cheeks today or hot top of my cheekbones and it's beautiful but it's very very uh, you know subtle so if you're looking for a punch I, I none of these blushes are uh, I don't want to say lacks a punch because they're beautiful they have what's called tourmaline pearls in the product and it makes it just so beautiful I've heard people that I people on more people on YouTube talk about them which I'm really happy about they are on the pricier side but L'Oreal I believe I mean L'Oreal ha, has always been on the pricier side and things at the drugstore I've said this before and I'll say it again they're just increasing in price so uh, it's a really nice product I would recommend that you get either the rose gold or the dark colors if you're looking for more color they're just so beautiful but this one is nice as well and I felt the need to complete my collection then we have another blush product this is the Maybelline master highlight and th there's no way I can test every single product at the drugstore uh, but this is something that I've been wanting to try and it's in the color mauve I don't know. I just been attracted to these colors. I think cranberry berry colors are so beautiful, especially on the cheeks. I am wearing that and this is a very pigmented product. I was surprised. I mean, I swatched it on my hand already. This is and you could tell it swatches out beautifully. I would say this is more for people who have medium to dark skin tones. If you have very fair to light, it's a little too hard. I even had to go over my skin with uh more powder because I just I put on way too much and maybe I didn't tap off the brush enough or uh, but it's beautiful and I'm intrigued enough that I want to get another one of these in a lighter color then here is the wet n wild color icon contouring palette in caramel toffee and I was really attracted to this I think this looks pretty I don't know I know it's plastic packaging but I don't know I just really like the way that it looks in here and so this is 
the uh, the highlighter and then this is the contouring color or bronzer and the they both feel nice but this highlight feels amazing it's so soft and there's no shimmer in either of these these are very matte and I use the powder all over my face so it works really nice as a face powder it's very light and just I really like it and then I got this because this is has a gray tinge tinge yeah gray tinge to it and a lot of makeup art artists I've heard say you should get a contour color with gray in it because that looks more natural and I did use that today all over uh, well to contour and not all over my face and I think it looks really nice it could be built up and I'm glad I got this I really do like it and I think it's gonna be my go-to uh, and then you'll see it in a get ready with me I'm gonna feature feature it in my next get ready with me using a bunch of new makeup products uh, next is oh the last thing for my no buy is this Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. Now I already have a foundation that I that I haven't used. I actually used it today. This is the CoverGirl Alas Stay Luminous. Um, this is the foundation I'm going to use in my next Get Ready with Me. But I got this because the store had my color and it was it was there and sometimes I find that certain colors are sold out or they're never in stock and I saw this and I jumped on it. I really do like the original Maybelline uh, Super Stay foundation. That's probably one of my top favorites and I wanted to give this a try. I don't know about the skin transforming stuff but if, I don't know I just I had to get it. So I got that and now on to the things that my sister gave me. I'll start with the lipsticks, I guess. Uh, she, yeah, she gave me a bunch of lipsticks. This is the NYC in Retro Red, and they look like this. And I don't know why she wanted to get rid of these, but she just said I wasn't wearing it. That's beautiful. So, got that one. Next is a Wet n Wild. This is in 15 Minutes of Flame, and I believe this is new. I said new in a store that I went to, I believe. I believe this is new, I believe. <laughs> so that's that color. Very nice. And they feel like they're going to go nice. They're, they're creamy. And then here are two Avon lipsticks. This one is Posy Pink. Ooh, I might have to get I keep on thinking that I'm gonna put it in the right place but I don't it looks pretty but it's kind of sheer and frosty so I might toss that in my toss bin and then this is rich ruby let me do it this way Ooh, that looks nice are they similar no this one has a little bit more pink to it Definitely gonna try that one. And then this is the L'Oreal Color Reach in Cotton Pink. And I have several of these. I really like these, but I don't know about this color. I have to try it on my lips. It looks really, oh, there I go again. It looks really frosty and, but it looks like it's gonna be glossy too. So there's no, what am I talking about? There's no frost in there. So I tried that one, and then this is the Revlon Color Burst in Candy Apple. That's pretty too. There I go again. Oh my goodness. I am the worst at swatching. Look at these swatches. That's really nice. The one downside to the color, <laughs> the Revlon Color, ugh, the Revlon Lip Butters is that they are so soft that they just you have to be careful when you apply it because I feel like it just wants to break off and now on to the stuff that my mom had and the first is I'm gonna toss this actually because I, I believe I already have it this is the Estee Lauder smudge soft smudge black liner and I had um I think I had put in my toss a bunch of those so it just they don't 
stay on me like you know my eyes are oily and then they like transfer at the bottom I definitely am gonna get rid of this this is like really old and I never used it that's why I gave I gave her this she had a bunch of stuff that I took back uh, this is the Rimmel exaggerate eye crayon in untamed I don't even know if they make these anymore uh, this is a pixie a pixie must-have kit number one pretty perky that's funny so that's what this looks like. I'm going to give this a try. Uh, this, I don't like it when they put cream lip products in here. I just, I don't know. But that's the blush. And then there's the Alme Beyond Powder Eyeshadow Twilights. Looks like this. Let's just give them a swatch to see. That's not bad. Oh, let me give let me just do all them. That actually looks like it's gonna be nice. So I'm have that, and then here's another Alme product. This is the Bright Eye. So you get the black and you get the white. Let's watch this. That might be something that I will toss because the white looks like. I don't know. The black seems nice. I gotta test it out on my eyes and see if it will last. Uh, then, oh, these are three products that I know I'm gonna toss. This is the CoverGirl Cheekers in Classic Pink. And it's a beautiful color, but it's just looks really powdery, and I don't think it'll look good on me. Here are two Estee Lauder. She, my mom was heavy into Estee Lauder at one point. And she got all these like free samples, not free samples, but you know, you gift would purchase this. These are just two palettes and I have them actually and I think I put them into my toss. So there's more of the same going into the toss. But here is another, this is a Smashbox Trio and Headshot and I have the pink and the brown in my on my eyes it's just a little bit so I can have a little bit of crease color. These are beautiful. I want to swatch them because they are just so nice and I think they'll be good for traveling look at that barely touch them and they're so so nice they feel nice and I'm glad to have this back I give that to her <laughs> uh, then we'll end with a bunch oh, actually these are this is the Maybelline uh, eyeshadow 8 pan in some baked neutrals I guess see how these are because um, these still might be good quality. I don't know. They just... That's not bad. It's actually... Oh, how did I swatch? Look at this. Giving you the bullhorn or devil horns. And then we'll end with a bunch of Estee Lauder stuff. So this is a big mamma jamma. This is the Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette. Not even been touched. Still has this. It don't have the brushes, but it has this. Look at that my type of colors and can't wait to play with it it's the naked palette by Estee Lauder and then this is the deluxe all over face compact and it has rosewood nose nosewood rosewood nude rose and the bronze goddess soft matte bronzer which look how pretty that is now this is the bronzer but it has shimmer can you notice do you guys notice that it has a bunch of shimmer so, and the thing is that's weird is I have another, this is another bronze goddess, soft matte bronzer. And this one has no shimmer. Does it have any shimmer? Now my eyes are playing tricks on me. But that's this. So it packs quite a punch. And, and then, so that has, so I have a mini of this, which is nice if I want to go bring you know with traveling and then there's a mini rosewood in here as well so I am this is so cute I don't mind having multiples of this because I really love this color if I find a clean hand I will swatch it it's just really subtle and looks beautiful so there's that color So that is my makeup haul. I 
I know it's a lot of stuff and I'm actually gonna like I said I'm going through a bunch of I'm going through all of these things that my sister and my mom gave me and testing out and trying to see if I like it or not and stay on the lookout for that get ready with me I'll be probably using a lot of these products as much as I can put on my face and yeah I'm excited for that I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves in this heat because it got hot real quickly we had rain for a week and then now it's sun and heat and I have the air conditioner on which I'm sure you heard throughout the video so I apologize for that but yeah I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye